Every fall, the Census Bureau releases the official uh, data on poverty and incomes for the previous year. So this year, we're expecting poverty to increase, uh, perhaps to as high as 15.5%. Poverty reached 15% in the recession in the early 80s and the early 90s, but hasn't been at 15.5%. Uh, since uh, the late 60s or early 70s. Poverty is high because unemployment in 2011 was above 8% in every month, and some parts of the stimulus bill began to expire in 2011. Poverty would have been even higher uh, had the stimulus bill not continued to provide extended unemployment insurance benefits to millions of workers in 2011. Now those go away in 2012, and so poverty is likely to continue to increase unless Congress does more to promote the creation of jobs either in the public or private sectors. Poverty is likely to remain high for several years, even if the unemployment rate starts to slowly decline, because we live in a world in which a rising tide no longer lifts all boats. So we need to have explicit government policies to raise the employment and earnings of low-wage workers who continue to have difficulty uh, earning above poverty incomes in the kind of economy we have.